We got like probably a hundred songs. Yeah. Song. And now. It's not out. <laughs> <laughs> I be out in Calabasas with the white folk. I be swerving, switching lanes with my eyes closed. Feel like I'm in bird box. How I keep a blindfold. Chava on me red. Baby Fantasy is both of us. It kind of started before we even put a name to it, you feel yeah. me? Because I feel like I knew him since ninth grade, basically. So we kind of grew up together. We yeah. became who we were together, you feel me? So I feel like who I am is kind of who he is. And there's like yeah. a different alternative part of it. You feel me? Yeah. I was like, yo, I never made music with Monty like this whole time. It's weird because like I knew this nigga yeah. for hella long, but we just never really made music like we that. Ne we never we made, made music like, together. One song. We made one song, Ozark. Ozark, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that one. Yeah, but yeah. I really ain't want to make too much music with him because I felt like we was too much of like, I started making music with him and we would make like three songs in like a day, about four songs in a night. And they would all be fire. And we'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, yo, like, what the fuck? Nobody noticed, but the first time we made a song, like the first three songs, we was gonna make it to a tape yeah. called the 50 States, 50 States, something like that. We was naming all the songs at the states, yeah, the states that remind us of. And then by like the fifth song, we was like, yeah, we should just be a group. We should just be a duo, cause it was just so organic. And it was like, we would be coming up in the lane like of like an ASAP Rocky or like a Playboy Cardi, cause the way we dress and present ourselves. But I feel like we both tried it solo and we saw what happened. Now we tried it together and it's only like six, four, five months in and we already got a 100K song. We don't know nobody with a 100K song. Yeah, exactly. We don't know nobody with all this like success, exactly. things lining up, happening, happening. So it just makes I, sense now. And I think we got different energies. So like me by myself, my energy on the song is still, it's fire, but it's not the same as us two together making a song. It's like a different energy. Like I rap different when I'm making a song with him. If I make a song by myself, it's more like, it's more like, not depressive or like dark. I feel like my favorite song out is Look My Way. Because I remember making that song. It was like 3 a.m. Yeah. It was 3 a.m. I just got out of, <laughs> I just got out of a bad situation. We made that song, we made Hot Fashion. And I think we made Count Stars, that did. And we made that song like late night. That shit was crazy because we did, I didn't even think I was gonna do a good verse on that shit because he came out, he just, the way we make music, he do a hook, whoever on the sticks, whoever find the beat, they make the hook. He made the hook. And as soon as I heard it, I'm like, this is hella pressure because this shit is a fucking hit. This he was sleep. Hard. this nigga was sleep. I woke I up out of my sleep, yeah. like this shit go crazy. I gotta get on this. Look my way, that's And it came out good. But the real, the part that made it best was the harmonies that we both did on it. Yeah. Because like people hit us up about that, They're like I really like this undertone of it. Cause it sound like you don't know who doing it. It's me and him both doing it. That's why it's better when we both on the song. Cause like you can combine both voices and there's different ingenious ideas that come out when we yeah. could talk about it yeah. together. I would probably say my favorite song would probably be Biology. I wrote the song in his perspective, yeah. and then I did my verse. He came to the stool and was like, yo, you should make a song about Bird Box the movie just came out. So he planted the idea. Honestly, I never really even finished the movie. I just remember him doing the hook. And I'm like, he said something about Blindfold. I'm like, yo, I instantly clicked like, yo, you should say something about Bird Box. Make this a song about Bird Box. Yeah. And then we put the song out today. And then we exactly. give it to Dream Thug. That's we why do we the gave the whole it. cover. That's why I ended everything up on somebody like else's page. Exactly. Because we just wanted to drop it. And I ain't, I ain't want to put it on our page because I ain't really even like it. Yeah, you like, like I, the song at first? Yeah, nah. I, we made. Because this thing is, is a bird box song. Yeah. <laughs> it's a song about bird box. Yeah, we like, make so many songs, it's like. Yeah, like, all right, whatever. I feel like the best way to describe it would be like two different worlds colliding at once That's on a very say. fast beat that really hits you hard. Like, because I feel like most of my hooks be about like one thing and then his verse come in and it's about something that's kind of related but it's completely different so you can see it's just like a cinematic experience if you saw like a video with it 
yeah. it'll be very cinematic in two different aspects. Like my part would be somewhere else, yeah. and his part would be somewhere completely different. Mm -hmm. And then it would still be like the same storyline in one day, like I'm night and day. Yeah. And I think both of our influences are different. So if you like, what he used to listen to growing up is not what I used to listen to growing up. I started really getting into music around ASAP Rocky yeah. era, but before that, I used to just listen to like a lot of like pop music that my sister used to listen to, probably like Avril Lavigne and like Maroon 5 and shit like that, and like The Fray and shit. Yeah. So I like really melodic shit, so it's like, it's not really, I never really looked at lyrics too heavy, I just like this the way it sounds, and that is happy music. You know what I mean? And when I grew up, I grew up off like, Every mixtape or album that I ever heard was because my big, bigger brother bought it. And so he would pass it to me. So I, I used to have like The Game, I used to have Young Jeezy, 50 Cent, yeah, all those, those mid-2000s <laughs> albums. 50 Cent X. So, like so that's 50. what I was listening to. So it's like, it's, that's why the, you hear the difference. When we made Fuck 12, I remember that day too. It was like midday. Yeah. He like did the midday. hook. He like, this shit hard. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm about to yeah. get on here. I, I that get on here and wash you. That's, that's probably one of the easiest tracks we ever made, just exactly. like flow-wise. Because mm -hmm. I did the hook real quick, and he did the verse real quick, and it was fire. It was like, right. oh yeah, this fire. That, probably, that song probably took us 15 to 20 minutes to make. I feel like most of our rap songs easier to make because like, if I do the verse, I just freestyle it off. I already hear something on the beat because I hear yeah. the beat already, and I just already hear it. And then he get on, he already good at freestyling and shit, so it's like, it's easy. Rapping before we started Baby Fantasy, and we was realizing how, like, we really thought in the moment we was doing everything we could do. Like, we thought we was doing exact things that we should do to be successful. We was making songs, trying to do a video, oh, let's make this song, never put it out, make this song. Ah, uh, it's not the right time to put it out. And then you realize once we doing Baby Fantasy now, how much really goes into all this, how much you really gotta do behind the scenes, how much you gotta search for beats, talk to producers, talk to other people that got platforms, exactly. you feel me? And we realized that like being back in that old stage, it's kinda like, it was beautiful because we really was having fun back then. But we was also very ignorant to think that we was actually gonna blow up like that. Like I feel like we gotta put our heads down and we just gotta, we gonna have to grind this out. Like, it's yeah, gonna, it's gonna we be trying to do the long haul in a, like a quick two year process. Like we trying to put the whole foundation out so that when people see it, they understand what's going once, on. Once yeah, once we pop off, it might be like one song or something. But once we pop off, it'll be a whole catalog to where it's like, oh y'all respect the artists because y'all y'all have like a catalog. And even then, that's why we took time to build a website and merch yeah. and build our own cover arts for everything. So. You can see yeah. it's more beyond just music. So you could we become have a, a fan. Whole like once you once you find yeah. us, you could become a fan. The, yeah, like, the yeah. best moments is like when we uh we got this routine. Every time we make like a batch of songs, or we or we just have a uh, night in the stool, like we'll make a batch of songs. Yeah. And to listen to them, we'll go in his car mm -hmm. and we'll smoke and we just listen to the songs with the. It's like a yeah, ritual. A it's a ritual, yeah. Have a coop, hit a bass. That's the best part. Smoke the gelato. Are you hear a new song and you, you smoking, you hear it, you like, damn, this is fire. Exactly. Looking at me sideways, I feel like my favorite part of it is um having to not like force communication. Cause like most of the time what I'm thinking, he already thinking. Or if exactly. I'm not thinking it, it's like, he gonna understand it if I say it a certain way. It's so organic. Exactly, it's, it's so like, organic. we kind of the same person. So I don't gotta force an ID on somebody, make them do something or say something. Cause it always comes out the way it should come out. We've been like basically a duo since we started into fashion. Yeah. Cause like people know us just for like being fly guys in school or like school. around. He's like, oh. I always see them two together, they always clicked up, they always fly as hell, like, it was a duo before we even put a name to it. I would say, like, our style is very similar, but it's still different. it, it, yeah. deviates, it deviates to a certain point. Certain it's point. like, I would say he's always better at me than getting t-shirts and, like, putting shit together that I would never really think about yeah. and, like, color coordinating and stuff. Yeah. I'm more of a, like, I just pick sporadic things that look nice yeah. and then it will flow together. Put it together crazy. Like, I don't want people like me from urban cities, not even urban cities, but, like, anywhere you feel like people don't understand you or that you feel like you really 
got big dreams, but you don't even want to tell nobody because you feel like they just stuck in that whole mindset mm -hmm. that I want to just get a career, start a family and all that. What about the people that don't really care about all that stuff? They just wonder, they really just want to do what they want to do. And live and life to the fullest. Live yeah. life to the fullest, you feel me? And I feel like if you got something to say to the world and people organically fuck with it, you should be able to speak and do that throughout your life, you feel me? And I want people, especially from Newark, like if I ever get on, I want to come back to Newark and tell people and show people at least that it's a whole nother community outside from like all the violence that like we could actually be something and help each other out, you feel me? And like, it ain't no platform around here. I already know that. I want to at least give people that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you trying to say the yeah. name? The name yeah, of the tape? Yeah, you said it. Yeah, it's called Beautiful Ignorance.